Well, hello guys. Welcome to 2024. This is Rachel and I have a several Timu orders and it's like three or four bags here, but I wanted to kind of like go through those and I don't know if this would be a good thumbnail or not. Maybe move my box to Kleenex. Happy New Year's. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope everyone has had a fabulous um, first day entry into 2024. I just pray that everyone has a blessed, blessed year and that um, you're, everyone has good health and that um, their families and everyone is safe. And, you know, we are so blessed to have places to live and you know our jobs our health our um our families and um doing the timu halls and things they're just kind of minds i do for the resin art supplies but and i've said that before so i won't keep rehashing over it i'll try to make this a shorter video than what i normally do oh look what i got done for it um, this is a Christmas present for my daughter. I got it done like um, New Year's Eve and it's color changing fingernail polish. And um, right now it's because my fingers are a bit cold. But when my hands are warm, they're going to turn a bright pink. So I don't know if that, uh, that will happen. Let's see here. No, nope. my hands are cold, <laughs> but that's okay. All right. I just wanted to say welcome again. And um, I hope everyone's had a great morning, afternoon, evening, and night. And um, blessings to you. And let me get started in this. I believe this haul contains mainly resin supplies. Um, I really don't remember a lot as to what's in it. Now, I'll try to look up some of the orders. Um, but pricing, if you want pricing, just, you know, say, hey, you know, can you um, send me a link or just message me or something? I'll try to get that figured out. But um, um, otherwise, it contains like um, resin supplies. I believe there's lots of um, there's lots of tattoos because I want to try putting those in the resin molds and what have you. So let's just go ahead and get started. It's always exciting to see what's in the bags because. Um, you really don't know what's in what bag until you start to open it because it's usually several different orders and there are some freebies in here as well from, um, you know, if you place the order, you get three free or, you know, one thing or the other, there are, there are several freebies in there. So um, uh, I won't have the pricing of those, but let me go ahead and get started. And I always have to be careful not to, like, ah, put something open in there, especially if you know you have paper, you know, see like that, or fabric or something like that in. This one, each of these orders probably contain about um, anywhere from, like, 20 to 30 things. I think one bag contains just four items in it, but um, let's see what we got here. Okay, first thing... Ooh, I know what this is. This um, is a silicone mold, of course, <laughs> but it's like a coffee, like cappuccino one. Um, and I didn't realize on the last order I got that it only contained one of the items, one of the like um, coffee items in it. I'm trying to see if I can find the order so I can show you a picture of it because it is kind of cool. Um, there it is right here. And, but the last time I got an order and I just got the one mold, um, a, one cup. So this one, I believe, contains the, maybe the tray. Yeah, it contains the tray. And I didn't realize this, but, uh, let's see. Does it scroll over any further? Uh, uh, this is what I got right here. Let's see. It has like a little coffee. I think those are supposed to be like coffee beans or lemon slices and ice cubes and things like that so you can decorate it. So <clears throat> I'll do, I'll start doing, and I know I said before, I start doing some 
videos with just um, doing one project at a time. So I'm not overwhelming me and overwhelming everyone else and to learn together. But, let's see here. Yeah, it's like got the little coffee beans right there. And I think these are like little lemon slices and little ice cube things. So it's kind of cute. And it contains a mold that's like two parts. It comes in two pieces. So it's kind of like a, I don't know, like a 3D type of thing. And so you pour these and then you put them inside of this and pour this. And so it's like a thicker coaster, the coaster mold. So I just saw that and I, I love coffee. So I figured, you know what, why not try to do that and see how that goes. Add that to the resin mold collection. Oh, these are little panda bear tattoos. And I thought these would be cute in like some resin pieces, something small, whether it's jewelry. And I just love the pandas. Um, I know that um, a lot of the pandas are now having to leave um, to be returned out of the country, but they're, they're just so cute. They're so cute. So it'd be neat to see how those that turns out. And I don't know how many of those that I got. And that, again, I'm not going to look up everything. And these are also tattoos of like little soaring um, birds. I thought these would be cute in like um, a resume, whether or not it's a, I don't know, a piece of jewelry or, you know, something with it. Try to, I'll try to figure that out. These, I saw these on, they're like part they're like jewelry making. Um, I forget what they're called. They're they're like little clips that snap onto like when you make a like jewelry piece that has like a little hole in it, you put that in it and then like your necklace chain fits through it. So these are super tiny though. Oh wow. I have no idea what I think I got several of these different sizes because I it's first time me getting them, so I have had no idea fully what I was ordering on it. So I'll have to check those out. Up oh, here's another one. Some of these look really bent up. Um, yeah, some of them look bent. So I'll have to I'll have to see. We do a project with these and see how that goes. I oh, what are the uh, these silicone? I think these are. This is not, I guess, not what I was fully expecting. Um, I guess these are like a little silicone. I think these are silicone paint brushes, maybe? I have no clue. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, they look like they're silicone. Yeah, they're like silicone paint brushes. And I probably actually got these in the makeup making section. Or maybe the nail art section. Oh, here they are. Oh, yeah, there they are. But I didn't, I guess I didn't expect for them to be quite that long. I thought they were, I guess, going to be more like that long. Because I have some others that are like this. And I get, I don't know. I don't know what, I, I think I was expecting them to be more like these. And... These have like the little dotting tools on the end too. And these are all from like the nail art section. And they look like they're like a dollar ninety-eight now. I don't think I paid that much for it. I'm sure I didn't. But um yeah, so that's to be used with the resin art. Sometimes you just need to be able to get some bubbles out or just to be able to push some of the resin down into the small intricate parts of the mold. And this is a mold. This looks like a um, a shell, a larger type of a shell. And I really want to try to be creative with some of these. Like maybe I don't know. Maybe put like some like fake fish or something like that in it. Or let's see what it feels like. You always have to like check your molds just to make sure that they don't have 
thin spots in them and this one may be a challenge to um, demalt, but yeah, it's actually, it's pretty. It looks like it's gonna be sturdy when you pour the resin in it. It has good detail on it and it looks like it has shine to it, but that actually looks like it has something in it. Um, silicone molds, whatever's on, whatever's first touching um, what's directly next to it's what's gonna come out in your mold. And this actually looks like it has a bunch of scratches in it. So your mold, when you demold it, will have those smears on it as well. So you really have to, that's what you have to, be careful how you clean your molds. Be careful about using what utensils you use in it so that you don't scratch it. I don't know that that, yeah, that looks pretty deep. So that I may need to see if I can um, either fix it or um, I don't even know how to fix it. So, or just see if I can do, get a refund. Yeah, this one is open. Hmm. It could have been the way it was shoved in the box or I have found where I've gotten some used things and I don't like getting used products when I order a new product. This was actually going to be a Christmas present and um, it's kind of like a wedding dress type of thing, but it it was for, it's, it was actually going to be a figure as a gift for my daughter who was a bridesmaid in several weddings. And this one looks like it has a defect in it as well. Yeah. Let me see, it's silicone that's defective. And that will ruin your end project. And it has lots of those little defects in it. Well, that's quite irritating. I mean, these molds, you're, oh gosh, look at this. Uh, I don't know. That is one that I will have to probably, that either try to cut some of that out, but then my projects are not gonna turn out quite the way I want them. And if I happen to sell any or give them as gifts, you don't want so many divots in it because you, I mean, you're already fighting against the whole air bubble thing. Oh, oh I think that's it for that bag. What are these? Oh, okay. These are little, um, ah, what do you call these things? My brain, it's like, I don't know, it's two o'clock in the morning. But I wanted to make these so like jewelry. Um, oh gosh, what do you call these? They're like the little, ah, things that you put like resin in and you you know it's to make jewelry with and I always get the silvery silvery ones cannot speak at this time in the morning but um they're like hollow they're considered hollow um I don't know pendant <laughs> pendants and so um I wanted to make like some little designs or put like a flower or something in it so those I will try to like make um, a video of each project make a quick video well I don't know how quick my videos would be but that's to make jewelry with and to use it with like resin art these are the heart shaped ones and I think I did these on the last haul but the ones that are in that are the circle ones and I'm sure the I don't know the circle ones are on that screen or not but that's that's what those bezels, they're a bezel, um, I forget what you call them. <laughs> oh, it's like, oh my gosh, the brain people. But, and, oh wow, let me go ahead and go to the next one. These, it, it, I don't know whether they get, I guess these are like open from customs, so the tape is like really kind of like a mess. I'm really surprised how some of the stuff that it even gets to us as, good as it does because you think um, everything now that's going through to get to us. Okay, so these I got um, in the nail art. This is, I believe, from another order. And I think I actually got these for free. They're like the, for like the magnetized um, nail polish. 
and I saw a video where um, it was if you drop some of the nail polish in the like UV resin and then you use these magnets to pull the um, the mail you can manipulate the mail pol nail polish in each one of these magnets causes a certain effect like a V or I don't know different different shapes it makes different shapes so that looks so interesting and I thought okay well I'll give that a try that that'd be fun something fun to do and you know I really need to start making the project and just stop collecting all of the stuff to make the project all right these I was really excited to get I saw yes I saw these in another video and and that's basically how you like really learn how to do different projects, do different things like this. We learn from each other, and um, these are actually eyeshadow, um, what are they called? Air Cushion Magic Powder Pen, oh no, they're nail art. They're used for nail art. And I got the set because the set was cheaper to get than to order them one by one. And I was actually going to get these off of Amazon, but they were pretty pricey on that. And wow, I get a lot of them. How many? It's 12 different colors. And are they double-ended? No, these are not double-ended. Some of them I've seen where they're double-ended. And here's like a picture of what they look like. Like this. And it's for your nail, for doing nails. And this is all of the colors and everything. And you can use it um, to color your silicone molds. And so when the resin goes on it, it picks up that color. And, um, but yeah, that's, I just thought these would be really neat. And look at all the different colors and what have that you get. So I can't wait to do those as well. And yeah, let's open one just to see what they look like and I'll go through later and open each and every one of them and they don't even have like color in it well they do this is like titanium gold powder let's see now they're packaged really well um is it twist off yeah oh wow wow hmm doesn't smell like nail polish oh it does a little bit um Let's see if I have like a piece, a little bit of silicone to put on it. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. I don't know if you can see that, but it just goes on so smooth. Oh my, I am going to have fun with these. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to use these. Yay. You know, it's just little things that make you so excited. I, oh my goodness, I cannot wait to use those. Which one, which box did I get it out? This one. Oh, and there's so many different colors. I have been seeing these show up in my feet so much. And I'm like, ah, they look fun, they look fun. And then when I, and they were cheaper then. And then when they first start popping up. And then when I saw them on a video, I thought, okay, go ahead and get them. That's why I was thinking about using it for as well. And then, of course, they had gone up in price and they were all sold out for like the single um, items. And then I came across like the whole one that was a set from a different seller that um, was a reasonable price for it. Um, I think these were, this is probably the most, one of the most expensive things that I have gotten off of it. And I probably paid about 16 or 17 for it. But individually, they're like $2 each and um, and more. Some of them are like three something and more. I'm like, yeah, but that's not, that's not, that's a budget breaker there. No, not in my budget there. I don't think I put that in the right bag, but that's okay. And that, it was only those two things in, well, was there only one thing in it? Oh, it was just this, the nail art that, um, magnetic sticks and that that was in that bag so moving right along how far along have I gotten oh, 19 minutes in 
I am moving along. I'm doing good. I am on a roll here. <sighs> My daughter said, you have to make shorter videos of all this. <laughs> Just too long. I enjoy the long videos. Um, I enjoy watching them. Just because I usually cut them on right before I go to sleep. And, you know, they just play. And if I have a hard time getting to sleep. Not that the person's putting me to sleep. Which I hope I'm not putting y'all to sleep. But, you know, I'm like. Um, it's just kind of like, I don't know. I just, it's like, okay. I'm watching something that's fascinating to me. And it's like, yeah, interesting. And I may fall asleep and a different one has started. But, let's see. All right. Hey, um, just as a reminder, please don't forget to do a thumbs up. That really, really helps my channel. I'm like such a baby channel. I'm starting out and I, I am learning. I am trying to get my, trying to do be a better job on my videos. Um, I didn't get to post very many, um, last week because I was not feeling well. Um, I have a couple others that I already recorded that I need to post. And so I want to go ahead and get those done because my goal is, is to try to get at least one a day done or either, you know, no less than like three a week done. So, um, what I, oh, 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 <laughs> uh, it's like squirrel. Oh, 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 oh. These, ah, uh, I've dropped it back. These types of things, they usually do ship separately and this probably was put in my mailbox. Um, whenever it's, um, glitters are shipped separately, um, I guess it's just the customs codes or what have you, they, things can ship differently, but these are gel magnetic nail polishes, and this is what I want to use these with, um, it does come with one magnet, and, but the, woman that I was watching the video, I don't remember what her name was, maybe it's Glitz to Glitter or something like that, um, she was doing this, and I thought, that was so neat, but I think the kit that she had, had several different ones, and she may have gotten it off of Amazon, but let's, oh, whoa, okay, okay, back in you go, a big gold blob came out, I am not trying to waste that, Get it back in there. I'm not trying to waste any product that just like a big bubble, just like oh, lobbed out. But um, yeah, you get a small bottle, but I got I did get the one with the kit, and it has what two, four, six different ones in it. And I don't know if they all just look um like they're black inside of the bottle, and but they're supposed to be like these really pretty colors. Let's see if I can look at this. Yeah. There we go. I don't know. Tima continuously changes the way you can view your items in your order. Gets a little frustrating because you get, you get used to the way you can find one thing and then it's like it's like every other day they change something in it. And it's like, uh, can you just kind of like leave it be for a bit? Um, I don't, I don't know if I can. I don't know that I can even make that bigger. Because when I do, it just does the, yeah. It's not letting me um, see the actual individual part and even be able to give you a description of it. And I'm so horrible with, like, given. Oh, wait a minute. Order detail. No, it's the same button I already pushed. All right. Well, they're nail polishes. They, um, I think they're like the cat eye one. They're supposed to make um, different um, designs on it. And there's, like, blues. There's burgundies. There's greens in here. So, um, again, I can't. It'd be, it, I'm excited to be able to do something like that with these. And to use this and and to use these. <laughs> so exciting. Oh wow, I am moving right along. I am moving along. And this bag I already opened because I was concerned that something was broken in here. Alright. So these are 
So first, <laughs> I think I only paid like a few dollars for these, but I'd gotten some, I like that was like similar to this, but these I actually wanted to get to give to um, my mother, because um, they have like the non-slip and they're kind of like fuzzy and yeah, they're like really warm. And so, yeah, I wanted to get these for, for her. I actually wanted to give these to her for for like Christmas, but these are cute. And I believe they're washable. And so, um, yeah, I'll get those to her so she can have them. Yeah, keep her feet warm. And I will put these aside over there. And what else is in here? Okay, I got some, oh. It's hard to tell sometimes like those shoe sizes and things, but these are like shoe inserts. And I, become quite fond of like western boots and i i'll get them used off of like um the poshmont site and most of them are up there in really great shape but um western boots aren't always the most comfortable um boots and these are these are thinner so they won't take up so much room in it and so yeah i do i like these and they do have like enough cushion to make your foot, your feet feel like comfy in it so mm. yeah these actually smell pretty good interesting <laughs> but yeah so i wanted to get these to put in some of my boots yay and they look like they're gonna work great you know what so far so good most of the things i've been finding have worked pretty good except for those two molds um, there's concerns about those, and um, I may have to um, see if I can get a refund and reorder those. Um, oh, 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 this is a pretty mold. There's another um, YouTuber that I watch, and she was saying, and which I um, had recognized that to certain types of molds, certain types of sellers, certain different sellers, you know, have better molds like this mold right here i probably won't buy from the seller again because it's that weird gummy feel which is probably a better one to be able to get a long mold out like that but it has all of those like i guess they were like air bubbles when they were making it inside of the mold and so i'm not a fan of that and the other one has a scratch on it and that could have happened during the packing or doing the storage. But um, if I was in a store and I was to get that, I probably wouldn't have. Um, and yeah, they probably only, you know, that larger mold, I probably paid about four bucks for. So um, yeah, and I wouldn't have paid for that in the store either. But um, this, it has like the three different um, automobiles, it has like a little, um, VW bug and, I uh, mean, ah, van and the bug. And this, I think is like that little SUV type of thing that they had. And I thought these were cute. I'm not sure exactly what I will, um, use to make these with. Do they say how much resin it takes? I know some of the molds they have written on your as to how much resin it takes. And that's another thing. Maybe I'll do a video of that just fill in the um, molds that I know that I'll be doing for like the next month with water and writing it on it. And just, hey, do a video of that, that and um, write on how much resin it takes because you don't want to waste resin and, um, you know, you want to um be as efficient as you can and um and that way you can enjoy it better but yeah these have yeah these have decent detail in it it's like yeah they're okay i don't know no, they're okay this i don't know if like little areas like that supposed to be in it or not so i don't know i i'm not sure if i'm like completely happy of that i'll have to pour it and see and you know, you have to do it pretty quickly if you want to try to, you know, return it or get a refund on it. So, I need to get my deliveries open sooner than later. And I probably had this here for like a week already. So, I'm losing time on that. But that's cute. That's a cute little thing. And I can make magnets out of that. And so, that's cute. That's cute. This. 
All right, these I am excited about. And I think I got several of these. They kept selling out of these. I saw another YouTuber. <laughs> it's like, this is the thing where you keep watching different YouTubers. And it's one of the ones that's in my favorites. And um, she's doing it really good where she does one project at a time. And she did these snow globe ones. And I thought, that's so cute. I, cool. I absolutely adore snow globes. But it's these little domes and they're meant for like cart making and they have like a little sticky and you would put it on the cart and you can put glitter and stuff in it but she did this i'm trying to think how uh i have to rewatch the videos i just like drew a blank how she actually did it but um i think she made coasters out of it she put it in between two coasters and um like sealed the coaster shut with UV resin, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see, um, you know, how to be creative with it. These are like some circles. These are Christmas trees. I think it's 10 to a pack, and I want to say these were like maybe $2 or something like that, And um, but they were constantly selling out because I would leave stuff in my cart for, you know, a couple weeks and then when I would go to get it, it's like oh it's sold out <laughs> and I'm like oh darn so I would go on the search to try to find another seller to get them and yeah these um and these are like little Christmas trees they're kind of like not the clearest I don't know they like have like a haze to them but um yeah I think they may be fun to try to do something with and um who knows who knows let's see how it, let's see how it goes i'll have to watch some more videos to um get some more ideas and to learn a little bit more on how to do it and these are larger the larger ah, circle ones uh, these and these are kind of like super flat yeah these aren't super thick these are, I don't even know what size these are, but these were like, hmm, it doesn't say on here what size it is. But I think there was like, I I'm, I think I have a couple more of the circle ones in here. And, you know, I don't think that I will get into cart making. That's not my, um, eh, it's not part of like in my will house. So I will do something with resin with those. Oh, the, oh, this is, this is pretty. And when it, these, this is, I believe, either a sticker or a tattoo. This might be a sticker. I think this is a sticker. And I want to, I won't take this out. It's like, um, a compass type of thing. It does look like this hat. Uh -huh. No, this is clear around it, so it doesn't have, like, a white back and on it, so that, would be good. I can put it like in any color background that I want without having to worry about it showing like a white um, frame around it. So that that I like. Oh, and here's another one. Of course, it's going down a rabbit hole to the algorithms. Once you do one, it just keeps putting things in it. And so I saw this and I thought it was really neat too. And it has like the mountains on it. I That's really nice. I like that. And I think these are actually like for your car or something like that. But um, yeah, I like that. So I can't wait to use that. Oh, this, look at this. Oh, I cannot wait to use this. I, want, I don't know what I will use it in, but it just reminds me of like the line of Judah. Um, you know, like Narnia. It's just, I don't know. It's just so... Isn't it pretty? And maybe even I'll get my daughter and make a crooked um, thing that says the Lion of Judah or something like that on But that's, yeah, I thought that was really neat. I think I've got a couple of these. I usually try to get two of each just in case, you know, I make one and I really mess it up. Then, you know, it's like, oh, no, I should have did it this way. Then I could do that. And this is a tattoo. This is actually a tattoo. Oh, I should just 
that you put like something like that. No, this will be for resin, not for my body. <laughs> but that is gorgeous. It really is. This is a freebie. Oh, let's see. These are like neon lights. There's this one YouTuber I watch. It's so neat. She has like the different um, neon light things that are on it. And so I did. I came across two that I really like. This one I did have in my cart. And then when I, I don't know what game I played or something on Timu, and this came up in my freebie thing. So I'm like, oh, okay, I can get this one for free. But let's see, let's see. Oh my gosh, what? It's kind of like a, oh, cute. Oh, I don't know what that's falling off. But it's kind of like, yeah, <laughs> you can see how it goes. I don't know if I can plug this up or not. I think I have like, oh, look. No, I thought it had like a dimmer. This one is not like on a dimmer. But it has the USB thing. And I do have like a USB thing over here. Oh, stretch. Stretch. I can never figure out how to get. Oh, oh, oh! I'm sorry, guys. So that is. Oh, that's super bright. It's cute, but it's super bright. Look at that. Okay, that's cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I got it for free, and I thought, I don't know. Maybe I'll have something like that sitting near my videos wall when I'm making like the resin art or something like. But isn't it cute? I can't tell. It's it's blue. I don't know. This is like a blue, and that's the yellow. I don't know how it's showing up on that, but it's so cute. I don't know. It's like the funniest, the smallest things can just like make you smile, and it looks like it's quite well made. And yeah, you know, hopefully it does hold up. But that's super stinking cute. I like that. I do. I like that. Where is? Like, yeah, it has like a little toggle, toggle on off switch. Okay, that's, that's adorable. That, that's super cute. I don't know. LED, neon sign. It's like, why do you need a neon sign? Hey, I got that for free. So, that was one of my options on it. And I got it because I did have it in my cart. I thought it was cute. And that's probably why it came up. And that's one of the free gifts. And that was probably like $10 gift. Uh, what is this? Got stuff everywhere. Let's see. How's everyone stay then? Um, did, does, do any of y'all make like New Year's resolution? Ooh, whoa. Resolutions or... <laughs> You know, or do, is there, do you have anything like, um, where you pick like one word for like, um, that you want to study in the Bible or just to study to get a better understanding of it and to see how, um, that word, um, has an effect on your life, um, throughout the year. Uh, these are double sided like little tape um double sided tape and it's supposed to be like reusable i thought these were a bit larger um but they're a lot smaller than what i um you know expected them to be um because i have several hooks that i gotten you know with the um, they're like Timu command strip knockoff type of things. And it's probably what this is too. But um, they don't stay up very well. Um, you, as soon as you put any weight on them, they just plop right off. So that's a little disappointing. I figured I would try to get some of these. And I did think that these were a lot bigger. Um, but it's okay. I can maybe use two to see if they um, work better. And these are supposed to be reusable um waterproof they were showing them stretch and do everything with so let's see how those see how those actually work and i will keep you posted up oh, here's some more of the christmas tree ones um of the little 
snow globey things. <laughs> so I did get two of those because, and I think there should be like some stars or something too. Okay, <clears throat> these are the. Oh gosh, I don't know why I'm having a hard time remembering what these are called. They're like bezels, I guess. I don't know, but they're used for like making jewelry. And I think I actually got maybe these for free too. Or they were like on a sale or something like that. But I usually get the silvery color. Um, I don't, I rarely get like the gold um, jewelry making items. But um, yeah, these have, they're a little bit thicker and you put like the UV resin in it and you can put like dried flowers or what, you know, wherever you want in it, or just do like different colors of the UV resin and then you make jewelry out of it. And um, yeah, so that's kind of neat. I do like the silvery, because it almost looks like um, sterling silver. And they do have some that are the um, sterling silver, but most of these are like called silvery or <coughs> excuse me mm. excuse me I'm so sorry or um I don't know what you want to call it um stainless steel that's it these are the little finger the little nail polish here in the nail care um section for nail art to remove like fingernail polish oh look they turn pink my fingers are warm look they're pink did y'all notice them when they changed? Oh, look at that. Oh, they're so cute. I don't know, there's the little things. Oh my gosh, so my hands have warmed up. But these are great for like resin work to like get, you know, if you need to get down in there or just stare. And that way it helps to protect your molds too. Because again, you don't want to scratch your molds. If you scratch it, that will show up on the resin work. So if you have a really pretty shiny project that you've done and the mold has a scratch on it, like this one, it's got that smeared, smudge, scratch thing on it, that's what's gonna show up on it. And I do not know how or if that can be even fixed on your project. And you really don't wanna have to do that. And usually the mold's just probably not any good. Um, and now if it's on the back of it, then it's not going to be seen. That's one thing. Um, but that would be on the front of the mold. These are some more bezels, open back bezels. And I think they all have the little thing where you can put like the jump ring in it and attach it to like a chain or run a, um, one of the corded chains to it. And these are the geometric shape ones. These are really nice and pleasantly. I'm happy with these. Yeah, I'm happy with these. These are nice. And I've been wanting to get these, but um, I think you only get 10 of them. And I, you know, they're a little bit more than what I think I would want to pay. I mean, it's not that much. I think they're like a few bucks, but I'm like, yeah, for 10, I really don't want to pay that much money for it. Give me 40 and then uh, that might be okay, but yeah. Down the cheapskate when it comes to that. And this, oh, this is, I think, like one of those cutting tools. I, mean, I do need to be checking through my, um, I'll go back through later and check through to make sure I did receive everything that I've ordered, um, just to make sure that nothing's like gotten lost doing transit or just wasn't in it. Um, because one time I did get a shipment and and I'm like, I got a blue light bulb. And I'm like, I did not order a blue light bulb. Why is there blue? And I'm like, I have since donated the blue light bulb. I'm like, why? Do I? But um, this, I think, is supposed to be like, yeah, it's like a little exacto knife. That's kind of cool. But it's like a pen. I don't think it has different blades or anything in it. But, um, yeah, I thought this... Um, this will come in good with something with the resin work or the jewelry making. Um, if I have to like cut out a sticker or something like that or edge um, a sticker, um, 
and you can't use scissors or anything doing that. Uh, what else is in there? Oh, these are some more of those snow globe ones, but the super tiny ones. Yeah, these are super tiny. Yeah, <laughs> they're cute. Little baby snow globes. Neat. All right, and this is, oh, there's something else in there. That's it for that. I'll save that for last. What is this? Oh, these are some more of those. What are these things called? They're like a little, they're part of the jewelry thing. And, if you can, what are they? Oh, they're all, oh, these are so tiny. But they're so pretty and silvery. Because they have like silver, they have, they have some that they call white. Um, and then they have this, um, Silver, and I think these are the silvery because these are like super shiny. They're super pretty. Like, you can see these are two different silvers. So, if I had to make a jewelry piece, I wouldn't be able to use those. And these are also two different silvers. So, when you're ordering like silver stuff, you just got to really be careful of the type of silver that you get. And these are like the super really pretty shiny ones. These actually look like they're stainless steel, but they, they, you can see they have like a little, a little pincher right there. So that would go through like the hole of one of those. And then I guess you could put another jump ring on that or just put your chain through that. But yeah, so yeah, that'd be a project that I look forward to doing so, so much of this in 2024. Okay, this is a, another um, neon sign. And then I saw, I don't know. I saw it. I just thought, okay, I got to try to get this. I, this is just so super cute. And I would love to have it up when I'm doing videos. Um, <gasps> so cute. And it is like, it's just like it's so mean. It truly is so mean. Look at this. So pretty. I don't, I don't know. That's supposed to be like that. I don't know. Maybe. That's so pretty. And it just has like a dimmer or anything on it. Well, let's plug it up. And see how it is. It's so pretty. Isn't it pretty? Oh, I just, I don't know. I just. I don't know. I just like that. It just really spoke to me. It makes me happy. It brings me joy. <laughs> Let me unplug the other one. It has a super long USB cord as well. Oh, goodness. Just got to get down here. <laughs> oh. Uh, I have the hardest time getting USB things plugged up because it's like... <gasps> Which way do you turn it? All right. <sighs> All right. So, that, where's the little, um, let's see. I don't want it to, like, be in anyone's, like, eyes. If it comes up. Oh, my gosh. It's so pretty. Look at that. It's pretty. Oh, I really like that. And it has two holes to, like, hang it up. But I think I'll try to see if it is set on like a tripod or something like that. That's pretty. And this is like, um, what do you call it? Lu Lu Lucid? <laughs> I don't know. It's the, it's the plastic. It's that, um, plexiglass, I guess. But yeah, it's really cute. And it has, it just has like a decal sticker on the back of it. Doesn't look like it should pull off. I don't know. It's super cute. Super cute. Yay. Yay. Well, and that is it of my team in order. I've had several packages. How many? What? I am at 50 minutes. Oh my gosh. And I promised my daughter I will start to keep these at like 15, 20 minutes long. I've doubled my time. Okay. All right, guys. 
I just hope that everyone, their new year just starts out absolutely fabulous. And again, blessings out to you. And I just, um, just pray for each, each of you. And thank you, each of you for viewing my videos, um, giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. I'm just so grateful to you. I just really want to be able to see this YouTube channel grow and maybe it can be a blessing to someone else as many others have been a blessing to me. All right. Well, y'all have a wonderfully blessed day. Bye.